we humans like stability. Yeah, to be stable, to be balanced. That means, also now talking from the martial arts, when you start your training, no matter what type of system it is, the first things you normally learn in the martial arts is the proper way of standing. Which means the proper way of aligning your body on the earth. Because we say if you cannot stand firmly, no matter what type of techniques and applications you're trying to, um, you're trying to do afterwards, they can only be as good as your foundation is. And this foundation means for us stability of the body, stability of the legs. But now trying to translate this into the modern way of living a life. I mean, it's, it's very, very similar. You can start off easily nowadays to become, try and become famous very quickly, try to build up a very high level lifestyle. But the question ultimately is, all these things, one day they will reach their peak and they will vanish again. And then the question remains, what is the foundation that, that is going to hold you up? Because sometimes living a fast way up also means it's going to be a fast way down. That's why very often we say, just look outside the tree. It does not happen in the whole universe that you are planting this tree on one day and one week after you have that, uh, that huge tree standing in front of you. It's just not happening in this world. And especially here in Germany we have the oak trees which are very famous for their density and for their strength also to withstand all types of different winds and storms. Yes. But at the same time, if you just watch how long <laughs> such an oak tree needs to grow, then you also understand why he has that type of stability. Because he had plenty of time building his roots into the ground. Yeah? And the roots in a way, why do you need them? Because they are connecting you with the earth, which is providing you with all the nutrition that afterwards your stem, the crown and all the fruits afterwards need for nourishment. And in the same way now again, translating it to, to us when we start to try and develop martial skills or any other skills, it doesn't matter if it's a martial skill, any other skill that you can develop in this world, any skill must be nourished over and over again. And this is why there is the saying, for example, the real skill, the Kung Fu, what we call Kung Fu, yeah, it's a skill attained by investing a lot of effort. And the only way in order to express this is by repetitive, repetitive structure, repetitive movements and therefore is the saying perfection comes from repetition because this is also why somebody becomes so good in in filming making very nice video shots very nice footage why how come i'm sure he very often had his camera in his hands yeah other people working with wood he must work with wood in order be, to become a good woodworker. Somebody who is practicing or is uh, in the martial art fields, his lifetime, his 24 hour day must be filled with martial art way of life. So in order to know in what is a person good in, you just need to look at the 24 hour day, at the 7 days a week, at every month and at the last 2-3 years. And then you can very much tell already what type of skills a person for example uh, can develop or has developed. 
and in a way I understand also that nowadays especially when it comes to Shaolin Temple in the combination with the Buddhism which is the fundamental philosophy or way of thinking embedded in the Shaolin Temple sometimes it happens that it moves uh, in, in such a very weak direction or let's say not weak in a soft direction in terms of it's all about compassion it's about love it's about uniting it's about understanding others it's about acceptance not living too much in extremes which certainly is very true these are really really valuable teachings when the time has come to understand them but nevertheless today we are famous and today we are very proud of the Shaolin warrior monks but why are you why are we always keeping up that word warrior monks because they are expressing something they are expressing something which when you can feel it you feel it's something very special to have nowadays that type of spirit to not give up when the times are getting hard it's not just the Shaolin who are, who are living this type of spirit but they also possess it because this is what makes the difference between someone that we call a warrior and maybe another person somebody that we call who succeeds and somebody you may be called today a loser the difference is both are going to come to the point where they are facing the challenge and when they are maybe facing also their defeat for the first time the only difference is that the warrior keeps going yeah. and somebody who does not have enough courage who does not have enough discipline who does not have willpower maybe he just does not have the power anymore to keep on going and going and going after he failed so many times but because of these failures <laughs> because there is something inside of you which which feels that you don't want to fail the fourth and fifth and sixth time anymore because of this something else inside of you starts to become very very strong and once again and then you only need to keep repeating and going repeating and going don't lose sight don't lose sight be open of what the future brings yeah on the one side it's also very important to not have too much fixed goals in in your own life so that means don't make too concrete pictures in the mind of how the future should look like the goals I think you cannot um, you do not have let's say impact on the goal itself but what all of life's purpose all of the 24 hours day you do have is that you can shape the direction of where those goals are going to to appear. Mm -hmm.